Hey guys, so this is the video that you guys have been waiting for. It's the question and answers video. I'm answering all of your questions that were on the room tour video and a couple others. So let's get started. The first question is from TJ, Sierra TJ, and it's at, she's asking, how does your guinea pig eat and poo with the cloth in the cage? So, um, I use fleece in my CNC cage, and basically she just kind of pees and poops in it, and then I spot clean it. Uh, I have a video on that somewhere. Here's a link to it, spot cleaning your guinea pig cage. And um, she just pees and poops, and then every week I wash the cloths to make it not smell bad, and then I'll switch it out, and yeah, I have videos on this, you can go check them out. <laughs> Here's some cleaning your guinea pig cage links. So, crazy Four piggies has, says, hi, okay, I have quite a few questions. Will you get another guinea pig in the future? Uh, maybe. I can't get one now with the guinea pig that I have now. My mom doesn't want me having multiple guinea pigs. I know you guys asked some other questions later on this, so I can go deeper into that. Okay, second question that Crazy Fork Piggies was asking me is, what is your favorite animal? Strangely enough, my guinea pig, or not my guinea pig, my favorite animal is the giant squid, not the guinea pig. Uh, a lot of people would probably think my favorite animal is the guinea pig, but I actually like giant squids a lot more. I actually have a giant squid t-shirt, so insert a picture of that right now. Question number three, what is your favorite animal that you have? Wait, that's the same question. <laughs> oh, wait, no. What is the favorite animal that you have? So, my favorite pet that I own would probably be Sophie, since she is my own. And then I also like my fish tank, too. So, I guess I'd probably pick Sophie, since she's more cuddly. <laughs> question number four from Casey for Crazy for Piggies is, what type of music do you like? I like any today's hits, music, anything on the radio, anything popular, I'll like. I mean, there are some songs that I don't, but for the most part, I like everything that's in style. Question number five from Crazy for Piggies is, do you have to buy your own guinea pig supplies? I do. Okay, that's all I have. Love your videos. So, <laughs> yeah, well, no, I don't have to buy my own guinea pig supplies. I do chores every week, so I, you know, vacuum the downstairs, clean the bathroom, uh, dust, just basically keep the downstairs nice and clean uh, every week, and normally I'd be getting paid for doing that as my allowance, but instead, since I have Sophie, I'm, that money goes towards guinea pig supplies, so instead of getting the money, I get the guinea pig supplies for Sophie. From Miguel... Salvador, sorry if I mispronounced your name, will you make fish videos in the future? Yes, I will be making more fish videos because I am getting a 29 gallon tank, which is extremely exciting for me. I've been waiting for a huge, like a bigger tank and upgrade for a long time, and this is a great opportunity for me to get one. So I already have it in my garage and stuff, I just haven't started it up yet. I'm still working my way to getting the money to buy it the supplies because I have to buy all the fish tank supplies on my own, which is a lot of money. So uh, yeah, when that's up and ready to go, I guess I'll make videos on that fish tank. T.P. T. P. Olson, T. Polson 39 asks, why don't you get another guinea pig? Because my mom isn't letting me, so um, yeah, I just, my mom doesn't want me to have another guinea pig. So that's why I don't have another guinea pig. Ashley H. asks, How long have you had your betas, and do you use real or fake plants in their cage? I don't have betas anymore. Um, I always used fake plants in their cage. Or, not cage, but, you know, tank. So, yeah, that answers that question. Busterboy0111 Do you have a brother or sister? Yes, I do. I have a brother who is now 11, and a sister who is 7 and will be turning 8 in September. Sweet 
asks, how many pets do you have? Uh, okay, let's see here. I have two dogs, Gracie and Cricket. Um, I have my guinea pig, so that's three. And then I have a fish tank that's running currently. And then I'll soon have a no new one, so I don't know. Do I count that as one thing? Sure. So fish tank, I'll count that as one. Uh, my brother has two fish tanks. I'll just say how many pets I have in my house. My brother has two fish tank things. Um, yeah, and then there's one more thing. My bird. I have a parrot, too. Sweet P7191 asks another question. How did you convince your parents to let you have a guinea pig? It took a lot of... Well, I first had a hamster. Uh, Santa gave me this hamster for Christmas a few years ago. Um, he's not around anymore, but when I had this hamster, he passed away and I was kind of sad about it. And then I told my mom I wanted another pet because I really liked having a hamster. And we looked into it. Uh, we were looking into small animals and I said I didn't want another hamster. I said I wanted something different. And we looked into turtles, but then we decided not to do turtles. There's a chipmunk! So we decided not to get turtles, <laughs> and then finally my mom found out, she was like doing all this research on Google and stuff, and she finally settled on having a guinea pig, because she seemed like, well it seemed like to her that the guinea pig would be a nice pet to have because they're nice and they don't bite very much, and so yeah, I just ended up with a guinea pig, and I've loved keeping guinea pigs ever since. Yep. <laughs> Mia Raymundo asks, how old is Sophie? Sorry if I spelled her name wrong. Uh, Sophie is actually spelled S-O-P-H-I-E. And Sophie is five or six years old. So I'll have her for a couple more years. And uh, yeah. Do your guinea pigs know any tricks? First of all, I have one guinea pig. So uh, in my one guinea pig, Sophie doesn't really know any tricks. <laughs> I've tried teaching her how to run up the stairs, but it didn't work out, so I just sort of gave up. Catching Fire asks, why don't, why won't you be making any more beauty videos? Because I don't have time to make them. Who are your favorite YouTubers? Uh, Josh Sundquist, Shane Dawson, a whole bunch of beauty gurus, Julian Smith, Bubs Beauty, Toby Turner, a whole bunch of fish people like a whole bunch of random fish people who make fish videos. I can't ever remember their names for some reason. Um, I can't think of any other pet people. Oh. That's a good question. Okay, so how do you organize slash clean your room? I'm an extremely organized, clean, neat freak, perfectionist person, OCD. I'm not actually OCD, but a lot of my friends think I am. Uh, I guess I organize it the way that I feel like it would make most sense for me and however it works out. And I clean my room. I just keep it clean. After it gets dirty and it starts to bother me, I just clean it right away. Usually blast some music and then it's over with. And I don't really think too much about keeping my room clean. It just kind of happens. Can you make a morning routine video, like how you get ready for the day? I'll consider that. And how long do you think you'll continue to make videos for? I'm planning to make videos until I graduate. If I find time in college to continue making videos, and if I have something to make videos on, then I will make videos in college, but it all depends on how things work out in my future. Teddy Bear 12211 who is your idol? My idol would be Josh Sundquist. I think he's amazing. He's also a YouTuber on here. I just think he's so inspiring and his story is amazing. I read his book and I watch his videos. I'm subscribed to him and I just think he's an amazing person. Rogel, Rogel Leo Pareda something. Ro Rogel Leo I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't pronounce your name. I'm really sorry. Uh, are you gonna get any more animals? What kind? 
I will be getting a new fish tank, but that's all I know of so far. Dominic Consiglio asks, how old is your guinea pig? I already answered this question. Uh, she's five to six years old. Hannah Elwell asks, can you do care videos of your love bird? First of all, I don't have a love bird. Um, he's actually a Myers parrot, and he comes from Africa, I think. My dad knows more about him than I do, so maybe I could do a video featuring my dad, kind of explaining what we do to care for our parrot. Um, I feel like that'd be more informational. Rogelio Pareda. Again, I'm really sorry. I can't, I can't pronounce your name. I don't know what my problem is. Uh, what happened with your diamond... Gi what happened with your giant Danios? Um, I had my giant Danios a long time ago. They are not around anymore. They passed away. Um, I'm thinking it's because I had an ammonia spike in my tank, or maybe they just weren't used to the water. I, I don't know. Um, I'm not exactly sure what happened there. But the fish that I have now have been in my tank for over a year. So my tank is finally steady, and I'm pretty happy with it. But now I'm getting a new tank, so I'm going to have to work to make that one nice and uh, steady and make the water quality as good as the one that I have now. So, it'll be another challenge, but I'm ready to take it. Rainer Rose Sales asks, How's all of your fish? All my fish are doing great. They're all happy. I have five Harlequin Rasboras, one tr True Siamensis, uh, one Apple Snail, four, that's a pretty butterfly, four Miss, ne no, four Nearite Snails, and I think that's it in my eight, eight gallon right now. And all those fish will be moved over to my 29 gallon once that's up and running and cycled and everything. Emmy Marie 2000 asks, have you ever had a beta? How old are you? I have had a couple male betas in my lifetime and a couple female betas in my lifetime. And the other question that Emmy Maria 2000 asked, how old are you? I will be 15 in August which actually it is August. So I'll be 15 on the 24th of August. Guinea Pig Apple Gaming AF asks, why do you only have one guinea pig? My parents will let me keep another one. And Golden Apple Gaming AF asks again, how do I cut my nervous guinea pig's nails? Where's B? How do I cut my nervous guinea pig's nails? Well, what I do when I cut my guinea pig's nails is I always feed them food. The trees are loud. <laughs> I always feed my guinea pig uh, food while I'm clipping her nails because I feel like that just comforts her and keeps her distracted. So I guess that's a tip that might help you out. Biscuit and Neil asks, what's your favorite pet? What was its name? So they're asking me what my favorite pet was in my entire lifetime, I guess. Um, my favorite pet would probably be my guinea pig that I have now, Sophie, and uh, yeah, she's my favorite pet of all time so far. Sophia Rose asks, how many pets have you had? Does this include fish? <laughs> Ashlyn Sheets asks me, what's your favorite food and pet? My favorite food is meat lasagna, and I also love cheesecake. And my favorite pet would be my guinea pig. Horse Fantasy 1213 asks, how is your friend's rabbit doing in the video on how to make a CNC cage? My friend lives like right down the street from me, and she's going on vacation tomorrow morning. I will go and check on her rabbit to well, and check on her cats and all of the other animals that she has, and um, so that's exciting. But besides that, <laughs> her rabbit's doing great. Her rabbit loves her CNC cage. It sounds like she's planning on redoing the uh, coroplast part and putting the coroplast on the outside so that her rabbit can't chew the coroplast because that's been a problem. Um, but other than that, her rabbit's doing wonderful. 67 Penguin Face asks, how often do you post videos? I post videos whenever I have time. Uh, sometimes it's every 
five months, sometimes it's every week, sometimes it's every month, sometimes it's every two weeks. It just really depends on what when I have time. My schedule is kind of crazy and hectic. I'm always busy and <laughs> when I have the time, I love making videos, but it's not very often that I do have time. Okay, so on to some questions that were randomly picked from other videos. The Middle Cats asks, where do you put the crabs while you're cleaning? And this was posted on my How to Clean Out Your Hermit Crab Tank video. I put them in, used to put them in this little plastic container. It's just a little plastic thing. Really, you can put them in anything. You can put them in a cardboard box. Um, just anywhere where they won't be able to get out. Live in life or whatever asks, where did you get your grids? How much were they? And this is in, this was posted in my most recent guinea pig cage cleaning video. Um, I got my grids for my CNC cage from Shopco, and they were $15 each when they were on sale. And the last question of the day from Miss Tarian Orcher, sorry if I mispronounced your name. When your guinea pig dies, will you get another one? And if you don't, will you quit? Uh, this is posted in my daily pet care video. If my, if and when my guinea pig dies, um, which will be in a few years since she's five or six years old right now, um, I most likely won't get another guinea pig because because that'll be the around the time that I graduate. I'm going to be, I'm an incoming sophomore right now, so I'm going to be graduating in a couple of years. I probably won't be getting another guinea pig because I won't be able to keep. A guinea pig in my dorm room but um, if I do have enough space in my dorm room when I go to college for a fish tank then I'll I guess I could keep doing videos on my fish tank if you guys would like that but I you'll find out later on maybe in my senior year I'll let you know if I'll continue doing videos <laughs> that's it for all of the questions that you guys uh, asked to me if you have any more don't worry just uh, wait for the next question and answers video, which will be posted in a while, since I'm going to make sure I do some other videos before you guys. I'll post another one of these. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.